Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local only Plano newscast. We start this week with a look back at Winter Storm Landon. Kudos to unsung heroes on our public works team who played a big role in keeping the city running. They worked nonstop in sub-freezing winter weather to remove fallen trees and limbs, sand streets, and keep our water and sewer system up and running. Some of those crews are still out in the community picking up storm debris. Of course, their priority, removing debris blocking city streets, sidewalks, or alleyways. They responded to more than 250 resident calls once the storm hit. If you have small amounts of additional debris from the winter storm, you can add it to your regular yard trimmings and we will pick it up. If you have a large debris pile, report it to our customer service team at 972-769-4150 or email them at ewscustomerservice@plano.gov, and we will pick it up at no charge. If you prefer to use a private contractor, there's no need to report it. A very familiar face is returning to the city of Plano. Former Deputy City Manager LaShawn Ross, who spent half of her 30-year career with the city, is returning as Director of Human Resources, a position she once held. Before retiring in 2016, LaShawn held a variety of important city positions, including Interim City Manager, Assistant City Manager, and Human Resources Director. To honor LaShawn's passion for the importance and education of employee development, the city's training program was renamed the LaShawn Ross Institute for Education and Development. Ross will replace Human Resources Director Shante Akafia, who's accepted a position as Assistant City Manager for the City of Louisville. LaShawn's first day back is February 21st. The Plano 2022 listening tour is underway. The city is holding more than 20 in-person or virtual sessions throughout this month. Your input will provide guidance to the city council and city leadership as they develop a long range vision for Plano. You know, we're hearing a, a variety of issues from residents. Overwhelmingly, we're hearing a lot of really good feedback, good direction of what kind of community Plano residents want Plano to be. Each listening tour session is about two hours and led by an experienced facilitator who leads a conversation among Plano residents as city officials listen. To register for a session, go to plano.gov slash listening tour 2022. For any other questions, email listening tour at plano.gov. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there and you can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week.